move it now. Yo, YouTube, what is going on? It's Potsy, and today I'm bringing you some WWE 2K15 online ranked match. And the reason I did this because I just got done watching Survivor Series with my friends. And you see on the left, and you also see on the right, but, you know, mostly on the left, you see the, uh, the icon Sting. And, um, yes, he debuted at Survivor Series. It was sick. It was, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to it, too, since I only have, like, like five minutes I just want to kind of like break it down and, and tell you why and what happened, all that stuff. It was, all right, start, first of all, the pay per view in general was great. It was phenomenal. Plain and simple. I think the be I believe the, the best two matches were definitely Team Cena versus Team Authority. Phenomenal all through the way. It was so good. I thought it was going to just be boring and all that, but it was perfect. So good to watch. And then also the one of the great, you know, pretty much. Uh, Tremendous storyline telling. I can, yeah. That, that was really good. Feud going was Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt was phenomenal. Throughout, you know, throughout the whole time, you know, build up for Survivor Series. The only problem was, it was really on SmackDown. A lot of the good promos were on SmackDown. Really nobody watches SmackDown. People come to watch Raw. So, I mean, it, it kind of feels a little weird because these guys are two top wrestlers, Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt, that all this stuff should really be, all their good stuff should have been on, on Raw instead of SmackDown. But then, like, the worst match was, like, Nikki Bella and AJ Lee. It was, like, a, pretty much in 18 seconds. Like, deja vu with Daniel Bryan kissing AJ. And all of a sudden, you know, Brie kissed AJ was, you know, beautiful. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, and that was, and, and uh, it was good. The only thing I really, that really didn't care for was the, um, the Adam Rose and the Bunny versus, uh, Heath Slater and Titus Young. Or Titus O'Neil, excuse me. I did not like it. I mean, it was just, it just felt like a piss on match, like a eh, throwaway match, something to, to build up time. And I was like, <sighs> I rather I rather have a promo going than to see this because like, no, I don't I don't care about the damn bunny. I really don't. But I mean, it, it, that, like that stuff should have been on Raw, you know. That uh, I eh, I'm not a big fan of that, not at all. But the main attraction was at the end of the night. It's literally like one v four. It's Ziggler versus pretty much everybody and he's going out like a blaze of glory going ham on everybody it's just, like, it's just beautiful all the finishes we're going were just phenomenal it was beautiful then all of a sudden Triple H comes in and involves and all of a sudden looks like the team authority is going to come out with the victory and everyone else is going to be fired but no the man they call Sting comes out and debuts at Survivor Series I'm marking out because I'm 21 years old and I never got to experience Sting in WCW. I was only like five, so I never got to experience what it was to see. And I was just like, dude, this is phenomenal, man. This is this is sick. I get to see Sting in a WWE ring before I pretty much die. Or even he dies. No offense to Sting. <laughs> but, like, damn, dude. Like, I got to see it. And the cool thing about it, I was with my brother. My brother was, you know, a teenager at the time when Attitude Era was going. So he got to see Sting and, you know, pretty much them going head to head. So I was like, dude, this is, this is pretty cool, right? So it was fun. It was, it's so cool. And plus he got to hit, you know, Triple H, you know, hit, hit him with the Scorpion uh, death drop. And I was like, oh my God, this is nuts. So it was beautiful, man. I'm so happy that he came out. I really thought it was going to be Randy Orton, but it wasn't. It was the icon Sting. And Team Cena comes out on top. So mostly, you know, pretty much T uh, Steph and Triple H are going to be off TV. And they're not, you know, fired or whatever. You know, they're, they're just let go of their duties, but most likely they're off TV. Which is a cool thing. I'll give them a chance. I don't know what's going to go on on Monday. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just a little, I had to get had to make this video. I was so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and, and leave a comment. If you guys are wrestling fans, I'm trying to grow this channel as a wrestling channel. But anything else. But just leave a comment. What do you think? I'm out. Peace. Have a good one.